this is a photo I took last year, um, last winter time in uh, Kingsby Water Park. Um, I quite like this scene. I'm going to put the figure there a bit further, further, further forward in the uh, distance, I think, and uh, just try and get a nice sweep in with this road. So let's have a look at the materials. All the usual kit: ultramarine, lemon yellow. Payne's grey, lizard in crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. They're all Cutman watercolour tubes, squeezed out and left to dry. There are three brushes. You know what that one's doing in there. Three quarter inch flat, ra large run round sedaic. I have cut the handle off, I couldn't get used to the um, big handle. And a number three rigger. Got a water jar, 15 by 11 Fabriano watercolour paper. And it's clipped to a piece of ply and up there got me a tea towel. Last quick look at the photo and let's uh, let's have a bash at it. So I'm going to start with a large hike. And just not too much water, just enough to give it a, a sort of light light coating. And I'm going to go a bit of raw sienna. Uh, just a bit of burnt umber in there as well. And then a bit of ultramarine. Darken that a bit more. No, I'll just I'll leave it as it is now. I think the sky in the photo is pretty light. There's not a lot happening, so I've mixed all the three together, and I'm going to do the distant, distant trees. So see how light that is. So it's quite a watery mix. Paper's still a bit wet, and because it's like that, it looks quite distant, far away, which is the effect we're trying to create. Not too much um, variation in uh, tones or anything like that. So that's the most distant land. So with that in, you see the paper's slightly stretched, but not too much because I didn't put a lot of water on it. So I'm going to pull it tight, refix it, and uh, we're good to go again. So coming slightly forward. I want to introduce slightly stronger. There's not much uh, green in this picture, just a little bit on the grass. But because this is further forward now, so I want it a stronger, stronger mix. We've got about there. We've got a big tree bush thing. And there's another one slightly behind it. You can see a few bare bare limbs on that one so I'm going to put those in something like that what I'm doing is a few diffused by this one here so I'm not, I'm not holding it like a pen so I hold it pretty far down the uh, down the handle so it helps get sort of more random shapes and just sort of flick it up get it in there and then just flick it up so you'll need a bit more water on it because it doesn't hold anywhere near that what these big eggs do so I'm going straight into those same colours again in fact I think I'll just stick with them now raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine and I'll just use a bit of lemon yellow for when we do that sort of foreground grass on the left there's actually a lake just down there, but you can't see the water from this view. So I'll just put the bit of land in front of it, the, the lake's the other side of that. But then we've now got these bushes now coming down there. A bit further down. Yeah, we've got a 
quite big. I'm going to, you could use the uh, the rigger if you want, but I'm going to use the height to do this foreground tree on the left. It's a lot easier to put it in. You need a bit more water. Mixing the two darker colours together, burnt umber, ultramarine, and then if you're going right off the top of the page. Just putting the basic limbs in first and then switch to the rigger and put a few finer ones in. And then what I'm going to do next, for the even finer branches, I'm just going to get rid of the water, easy way, just give it a squeeze, watch all the water come out of it. Scuff it up as I'm drying it. And you're just going to the same colours again. Sort of dead leaves and branches and twigs and what have you. And then a little bit. Now let's clean the brush and let's have a sort of raw sienna. Same colours and then just a bit of um, lemon yellow this time. Just pour this over a bit more. Just that little bit of green there. And that's coming right down. Something like so. And we're going a little bit of a bit of a bit of green over here, not a fat lot. And then on the right hand side, in fact, what I might do, I might put this path in. Well, it's actually a road. So let's do a sort of. Actually, I might have dried that too much, that'd be all right. We're all seeing that. I'm giving me the same sky colours. Same colours as the sky. And then let's just give it a quick sweep. So it's sort of, that's sort of coming over there, I'm giving it across like that. That's sort of goes round again like that. And it sort of sweeps right round. You see how dry the brush is now, it's hardly coming off. I don't want it much more than that anyway. Let's just push this over to the edge. Darken it a little bit more. Just emphasise the edge of that road a bit more. Mm. Maybe even a few little stones and little twigs and branches lying on the floor. 
it's in the dark. I can just pop some of these down. Now the other side. So again, I'm using the big hike. Just pop in some of these trees that are actually. Let's just put these ones in first. I'm just sort of twisting it round, just trying to get random, random shapes really. Just twist your brush round just to get it nice and random. Nature grows in all shapes and sizes. And then I'm gonna a bit more water, bring the ears together. Pop some more trunks and branches and stuff. Switch to the rigger. Just continue some of these off. Oh, not enough water. Always need plenty of water with the rigger. I'll just leave those like that, I think. Yeah. And that road continues off there to the right. And then in front of that we've got a bit more grass. And the grass sort of sweeps. Sweeps around like that. See I've got two or three different colours on the brush and it helps get this nice bit of variation. You don't want just uniform, just one uniform colour on its own, it just makes it look so bland and boring. Always just trying to keep varying it, that's why land, even just flat land like this can look interesting if you just keep varying the colour. Something like that. Rocks. How do you do a rock? Just take your the piece of card and just, it's got to be half dry. You can't do it when it's wet because otherwise it will just fill straight back in. And just sort of, just give it a twist like that. And just sort of get an instant rock. And then if you don't like it, if you don't like it, just paint straight over it like that. No problem. So looking, I'm trying to look at the picture now, it's, it's very dark on that side. Let's just, just ground that a bit. There's also a few full ground trees and branches. A bit too wet. Brush gets too wet, just give it a quick wipe on the uh, tea towel just to take the excess water off. Now some of this sort of foreground, just stick a few little foreground bushes in, trees. Back to the rigger. Just a few little Remember, plenty of water. And your brush is too wet, so I'm just going to give that a quick clean. And then let's go. A bit of raw sienna, burnt umber. In fact, let's just take a bit of everything. And we've got a few little, little bits of grass down here. Maybe even take your fingernail. A bit of grass there. 
what you don't like just paint straight over. Um, if you get strong, I'll try and lock even them out a bit. See, it's got a bit darker on that side, so I might just make this side a bit darker as well. So again, just keep varying it. Not all the same. Okay, nice little bit. And again, a few flicks. I always overdo it, so just paint straight over what you don't like. That'll do. Maybe a rock. Just give it a quick twist like that and you get a nice instant rock. You can even flick up with the corner as well. Um, so there's that sort of basic scene. And remember I said I was going to stick the figure a bit further, a bit further forward, so sort of, it's going to be sort of silhouetted in on the horizon. So I'm just taking the number three rigger again. Just get a darkish colour. You gotta watch me hand because this isn't dry. Um, in fact I'm gonna stick it right, right walking up into the distance. So just do a little dot for the head. Hang on. Uh, it's just a little dot for the head, and then some little shoulders, and then it gets nice. It's like a sort of carrot shape. Maybe even a just a hint of red, just to change it. More blue down the trousers. Something like so. A couple of birds somewhere. Let's just stick a couple of birds. Just a nice dark colour, just to stick your name down there. Up your name. Not right in the corner because you wouldn't see it once it's mounted and framed. And I'll call that one done, I think. So let's have a closer look at it. So, this is our finished painting. Let's compare it to the photograph. So you can see I've, I've kept the composition much the same, apart from this figure I've pushed right down there, walking down the road. So I've started with the sky as usual, did very little with the sky, just kept it pretty uh, pretty light really. Just so that all the, the trees and the branches could show through very well. See the most distant trees put in using the same colours but plenty of water, you can see how far away they look. And then using stronger paint mixes. To bring the trees forward. You can see the difference there, see how much closer these look compared to those. And again on these ones here on the back compared with a little bit of rigor work there. Some distant more trees there. Again you could put all these limbs in with the rigor if you like but I use the, the hake just to put the main bits in and then use the, use the finer branches with the rigor work. Same again on this side. Just a quick way of doing it really. The little figure just gives a focal point and you can see just a quick sweep of the hike just puts the uh, the road in very simply. See I've constantly tried to vary the land either side just to keep it interesting. You can see a little scraped out rock there and again a few more scrapes to put in a bit of grass. Simple but quite effective I think. And again just very simply put in, try to vary it and again a few quick scrapes just to get that bit of grass in. Well there's my quick impression of uh, the road through Kingsby Water Park. I hope you like that. Keep practicing. Any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.